everybody, Ann here, sitting in the tiny house, having my coffee with all of you. And last night, a couple things were delivered. I got the can opener and I got the little water spout thing. So I'm going to see if I can install the water spout thing today and give that can opener a try. Hopefully it's going to work great. I'm pretty sure it will. It came with some pretty good reviews. So, And it looks like it's going to be sunny. It's going to warm up here in a little bit. So I'm going to get some wood processed if it's the last thing I do today. Looky here, I got the water faucet semi-installed. What I need to do, this, this here actually comes up from the bottom. This hole is the same size as this hole, and it's a little bit too small to get this part, the threaded part, down in. So I just need to open up that hole a little bit more and shove this down all the way, bring this up from underneath, and screw it on. That way it won't go wonky like this. All right, let me show you underneath. For now, I've just got this water bucket kind of elevated up and it just captures the water. What I really need is a little tube to come down from there down into a little hole and I'll, I'll do that eventually. And then over here, I've got the water tube going directly down into this. I had to open that up a little bit and normally there's a little uh, cap on that. You release it to relieve pressure, but I felt this is going to be the best way to put this in because that part over there, I just want to leave that on. I don't want a big gaping open hole. Um, this water has been filtered with the homemade water filter. So let's see if this works. I got my little tea kettle. There's a bunch of stuff stored underneath of there. So I didn't feel like taking it out just for the purpose of this video. So what I'm going to have to do is hold on to this because this is going to move around when I pump it until I can get that uh, little hole drill better. So let's see how this works. I'm kind of reaching over here. I hope you can see. Oh yeah. Oh yes, it works great. Look you guys. I've got running water. Check it out. Running water. I'm thrilled. Yay. Look at I got this put together and it fits perfectly. All the way down to the floor. I could put shoes underneath. Lots of shelves. I've already started kind of filling them up a little bit. This shelf here, I left it really tall because I want to get back into winemaking. So put some of those bottles to use and it's plenty high so I'll be able to put their air locks on them and it will be great. Here it is. I just need to stock it up now and this is sturdy. One thing you got to remember to do is, is to pound these down into these little holder thingies or else it'll sway. But it's on wheels and when I open the door Look at this. I can open it all the way and it's perfect. That is wonderful. That's the perfect size. Even after I put the walls on it, uh, it'll be coming out a little bit further. I've still got a little extra room over here. So this is absolutely amazing. I've got storage. I've got storage! And now it's time to try out the new Baco Bosa. I am hoping and praying that I can get this done with this here Bosa. I'm just going to try and figure out where to start cutting. <laughs> I texted my son because he's a tree trimmer. And uh, I was going to start at the top. He says to start a little bit further down. So I'm just going to figure this out and see if I can do it. I can do with it. I think what I'm going to do is uh, try and saw this into little earth pieces so I can just toss them over there and 
put them in the wagon and take them to where I'm gonna process the rest of it. All right, let's see if I can do it. Beautiful. Check it, you guys. Oh, look at that pretty wood. Look at it. All right, I'm gonna get the rest of this cut up. I'm gonna get all of it cut up today. amount of wood not too bad I'll come back and get these smaller pieces later I just wanted to break that big old thing up and uh, yeah so I'll come process these later and there's also another log over here and over there I don't think that's from the same tree though so that may be rotten I may just leave it I don't know but it's time to get all this stuff in the wagon I think that's a respectable amount of wood I'm just gonna take it over to the tree stump and kind of break it down further and get to use my axe and yeah I'll use the bow saw more on some of these longer ones so that they can fit into my wood burning stove so let's do it look at you guys it's got a smiley face on it see there's two eyes there's a nose there's a little smile it's almost too bad that I'm gonna have to hack this thing to bits let's see if I can film and do it at the same time nope there's my tree stump we saved one big piece of that that wood to put on top of it because that stump is pretty rotted and there's my wagon full of wood I'm gonna go ahead and process it you guys have seen me do it before you just saw me sawn with the bow saw and that saw is great there's one thing that I've noticed the harder I try and saw the worse it works basically if you just hold firm steady pressure and you don't try and go crazy on it then oops here let me do this that's better um, then it's going to work out better for you because um, you could see you could see how I was wobbling and whatnot um, when I was trying to put too much pressure on it. Once I kind of backed off, things just the Paco just basically saws the wood itself. You're just holding it, pretty much. <laughs> Anyhow, I love that. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of this wood, and then I'm going to go have a cold beverage and kick back and be so happy because I know that I can process wood. And though some of those trunks, some of those logs were, were pretty big, so <sighs> that's a relief. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.